thanks again for choosing the Brock Rockenhauer off-season training audio course. It's day three, and you've been busting a gut, right? Well, I hope you got lots of guts, because today we're going to bust another one. Ten-mile run, one-mile swim, the bicycle, the step machine, abs, quads, push-ups, squats. Let nothing stand in the way of the biggest event of your chosen profession. Super League trophy, here we come. Awesome! No way! The glamour! The glory! Those fancy little chocolates on your pillow! This is Skyball! The world's highest soccer tournament! Whoa! Skyball Ultimate 5 is a unique tournament on top of my new hotel, La Mirage, in Dubai. For the first time in soccer history, the winner will be decided by public vote. Forget about the Super League. This is soccer at its highest level. Sultan's gonna have their gimmick. I think I'll stick to real soccer. And taking on Sultan's in the first ever Skyball Ultimate Fives is... Super Strikers! <sighs> you may be the champions, Super Strikers, but in Skyball Ultimate Fives, I make all the rules. Super League is all that matters. Skyball looks awesome, but it's just another one of Sheik's amusements. Negativo, dude. The big kahuna himself requested a top flight attacking team. And imagine staying in the world's most expensive hotel. Playing soccer on top of the world's tallest building. <laughs> Overlooking epic desert views through four glass walls. And my favorite, having the winner judged by public vote. It's football, dudes, but not as we know it. Sounds like a crazy reality show to me. So you finished day three, right? Of course you did. You wouldn't let old Brock down, would you? Day four. Remember the Brock and Roll Creed from day... <sighs> ah! We've managed to get your attention away from your self-help tape. Brock happens to be sport's biggest motivational coach. Ooh. Talking about big? I remind. Really I have the vertigo just looking up, yeah? Only a few hundred people will get to see the game live. But they're expecting a TV audience to rival that of a Super League final. Let's get up there. I want to see what we're dealing with. My dear Super Strikers, are you ready to live like you have never lived before? Are you ready to play like you have never played before? Let's get out of this desert wind. Oh, very nice. Wow. La Mirage, that's French huh? for the Mirage, boasts the world's most expensive decor. Vases from Ming Dynasty China, Fabergé eggs from Russia, Shetland ponies from... Uh, Shetland, I suppose. No expense spared. Eh, expense has definitely been spared at the souvenir shop. And in the spirit of La Mirage, a memento of Ultimate Fives for each participant. Oh. No way! Soccer balls covered in gold? Take them. They're yours. Cool. Both teams will be staying at La Mirage for the next 48 hours until the tournament is over. <laughs> what did I say? Reality show. I have a full agenda for you. First things first, let's get you settled in. <laughs> I wonder which floor we'll be on. The views must be pretty awesome. <laughs> in the world's tallest building, the sky's the limit. Planning and coordination. Everything's on schedule, Shake. Marketing. The new TV ad is ready to broadcast, Shake. Weather. Our satellites say conditions for the game will be perfect, Shake. Speech writing. Scripts huh? for the event are right on schedule, Shake. By the way, you rock! Security. No one's going anywhere without us knowing, Shake. Good. The stage is set for a fantastic event. And a Sultan's win. Yum, yum, yum. Beautiful presentation. Ooh, that's amazing. Wow, what a spread. Are you enjoying your meal shakes? These ingredients come from all over but the world. But it looks like sultans are eating lean. Very lean. What's actually going on here? No rooftop training yet, and now he's stuffing us with fancy food? The winner works for David Hasselblad. <laughs> shakes? Yes, shake. 
what time can we get onto the rooftop pitch tomorrow morning? Hmm. You'll have to ask the owner of the hotel. Aren't you the owner? Yes, but it would be unfair on the Sultan, so maybe ask their coach. But you're their coach as well. Of course, of course. But the Sheikh would never allow it. But you're the Sheikh! There are so many amazing things to do in the hotel. Hot truck spa treatments on floor eight, shopping uh... in the concourse, bingo on floor five. No? You don't like bingo? Buffalo wing? Oh, too many buffalo wings. Day four. Remember the rock and roll creed from day one? A rolling rock gathers no moss. Are you rolling guy? Or are you standing there with a cup of coffee in your one hand and a half-eaten rusk in the other? Mm. Well, that's rock and roll, guy. Yeah. If the shake isn't going to give us what we need, I'm going to make my own four-walled pitch. People try to bring you down, tell you how to live, tell you where you can go and where you can't go, tell you what you can say and what you can't say. Well, here's some advice. Uh-oh. Hey! <gasps> keep it down out there! It's not like I need my beauty sleep or anything. Just saying. Whoa! Huh? Merciless on the main? I'm just trying to get in some training. Watch huh? Salt and set the record straight when they beat Super Strikers, the Super League champions, in Skyball Ultimate Five! Ah, you think they forget we thrashed them 4-1 to one last season? Yeah, but with this voting thing, it's a whole different ballgame. Sheik's man, a fancy hotel is no place to be practicing. Sure, Captain. <gasps> hey, guys. You're not perhaps heading up to the rooftop uh, pitch, are you? No. No, no, no one's allowed up there. there. So where are you going? Down. Down. Hmm. Looks like it's not just their soccer they've been practicing. Typical. I can't believe you won't just ask someone, Hubert. We don't need help. I'll get us there, Ursula. That's what you said ten minutes ago. Captain's log, stardate 2132.5. Shake! I've noticed... Shake! You should see this. He's heading for the roof, just like you said. He's persistent, that's for sure. But don't worry, measures have already been put in place. <sighs> <gasps> The bingo is on the helipad? Uh, I can help you out there. <laughs> I guess this is a pretty awesome place to play soccer. Well, no one said I can't train here. <laughs> Okay, the conditions are unbelievable. Wait till I tell Coach. Uh, oops. Shake! Uh, what are you doing? Coach! Uh, the wind! I, I was just trying the to... The shake is absolutely furious! VIP guests can't land because you're on the helipad. And now you just kick his priceless gift off the side of the building? Wait, w w how did Forget you- Forget it. You didn't want to play the gimmicky skyball tournament. Well, you just got your wish. You're benched. Shakes benched. Super Striker's coach has described his star striker as unruly ahead of the team's showcase against Sultans. Dude wasn't into it, right? Blurgle. That doesn't mean we don't need him for the game. <laughs> don't worry. 
The Shake doesn't have anything that'll stop Rasta and the boys. Welcome huh? to the tournament everyone's been waiting for, without even realizing it. Today, Sultans take soccer to a whole new level. Four glass balls at the very top of the world's highest hotel, La Mirage. Keep your eyes on the screen and your balls in your hands. Yes, folks, for, for the first time ever, the winner of a soccer contest will be determined by texting. My style? Nothing in the rules about wearing glasses, El Matador. Oh, yes. That's because there are no rules, only votes. And steel, red and white. Yesterday's news Super League has been Super Strikers? Who writes this stuff? And in the glorious green, the host, the homeboys, the Super League next. Mega Champions, and, and today's, today's most likely, likely winners, Sultans FC! We've practiced this a thousand times! We know the plan, right? Of course we do! Now, rock it! And we're off! Everyone is totally excited about this new form of the game! Well, not everyone. Would you believe who's on the bench? Maybe he can still help! Depends. Does he get a vote? Huh? What? Huh? Well, I wouldn't be voting for Super Strikers right now myself. I'm not used to mocking a whole wall. I'm not used to feeling this uncool. Why are Sultan suddenly so much better than us? Whoa, 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 whoa. No one's allowed to play. Bingo on the wall. Sky's down, sky's down. Your bed, your bed, your bed. I was right. The Sheikh has been playing us from the start. I'll bet the Sultans got to stay on one of the top floors and that they practiced up here. And the Sheikh deliberately got me busted so I couldn't play. I wonder what else he has in store for us. Rasta has it covered. The altitude is working against us. We need to use the walls too. That's it. Use the walls to make the pace impossible for them. <laughs> like one giant game of pinball. And the results are showing. Watch out, Sultans. Come on, guys. We can do this. Ha! Welcome to the party, Shakesman. T-minus one minute. Great work! Let's get ready, people! Switch to infrared! <laughs> Watch me really use the walls! Phenomenal! This is why they're the league champs! They learn so fast, Mac, the opposition just can't keep up! <laughs> yeah, guys! Come on! Huh? Okay, you weren't stealing my style, were you? <laughs> the Sheik has been playing us. It's time you got out there. Okay? Shakes? Yes! 175! Scorch time! One inch to go! Um, what are you looking for now? We never found the bingo lounge! Uh... So we invented our own game. Lift bingo! We ride the lifts all day and use the floors people choose to play bingo. I'll take the stairs. Zero, 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 zero. Hey, where are the red guys? Uh, uh. It's El Matador versus the world out there. All seems a little unfair, right? The contract, Brenda. We can't say anything bad about the Sultans, the Sheik, or La Mirage. I miss the Super League. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, no respect. Um, this is soccer, not the circus. Well, it's getting votes, Mac. Half time. 
What can Super Strikers do in the break besides cleaning the sand out their eyes? Uh, put these on my room account! Come on, come on! Yes! You'll pay for the holiday! <laughs> Sh Shakes? From Super Strikers? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a big fan, Shakes! Really? I mean, I have, like, all the DVDs of Super Strikers matches! Thanks. Uh, maybe you heard of me, guy? Sure. Brock Rockenhauer? Excuse me? Brock Rockenhauer! Motivational trainer, forward slash life coach! I'm a big fan, too. Really? Well, won't you need some, like, Brock awesomeness up there? Hoo-ha! Crazy eyes! Tiger power! Uh, no thanks. Ooh, dustier than my record collection up here, man. Come on, it's not that bad. Ah! Sub me! Sub me! Can't. Our only sub has disappeared. We were doing well beating these guys at this style of soccer, but with no vision. Shake said the Shake had something planned to throw us off. I should have guessed it would be something this over the top. Nothing a few visors can't solve. Hey. Welcome back, Shakes man. Coach, I'm sorry. I, I really messed up a lot of... Keep a pair for yourself. The vote is massively in Sultan's favor, thanks to their performance in the Sandstorm. But suddenly, Super Strikers are looking prepared for the conditions. Aye, but are they prepared enough? <laughs> Good luck, muchacho. It don't get too attached to it. It's trademark. Super Strikers are finding their feet up there. But there is still a massive shortfall. How are they going to force a massive jump in votes? Done. It's up to the rest of the world now, I guess. Like we've reached the stalemate. Time is running down, and the vote is running away from Super Strikers. Can they do something that will send their vote off the charts? Ugh. I wish I'd got some time to practice up here. Hey. <laughs> send it my way. I think I can do something that will rock the vote. Whatever they do now, Mac, it's too little, too late. Here we go, Brenda! Whoa. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna help Super Strikers boats. Unlikely, Mac. Mac? Mac! It's coming back! <laughs> Of course you can! Against the odds! Shakes has done it! Against the odds and against the wind, Mac! Shakes just wrote the book on how to play in the four walls! <laughs> that was like the best move I ever saw! <laughs> and besides all my moves, of course. <laughs> how many balls did you have to kick off the roof to perfect that, Mark? <laughs> well, actually, the only one. But a really expensive one. <laughs> Very impressive, what? Super Strikers, but time's up, and Sultan's demolished you on votes. Um, the game is over, but the voting isn't. But, but, What's the, uh, ruling on that one? Oh, there are no rules. Yes! Super Strikers edge ahead of Sultan in the inaugural Sky Bowl Ultimate Fight! <laughs> Great fun. Anyone's game. Let's do it again next season. Fantastic. Don't mess with my boys, okay? Just means you'll lose. <laughs> oh, well. I guess it's back to my diamond encrusted gold plated drawing board. Someone get me the diamond encrusted. Oh! Huh?
As Mount Keen continues to blast volcanic ash into the atmosphere, all air travel has been suspended. Soccer fans around the world are scrambling to find other ways to get to the big Super Strikers Invincible United Derby. Huh, it's not just the fans. Stupid volcano. Doesn't it know I only travel on private jets? Ugh, it's gonna take us years to get home by train. That's why I always travel with an Inspector Von Spectre mystery story. This one's called The Mystery of the Missing Mystery Train. It's about a mysterious train that goes missing. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, come on, Shakes. It's going to take a lot more than that to beat Invincible United. Yeah, brother. Why don't you try out that fancy new shot of yours? The knuckleball? No, no, it's not ready. Come on, Shakes. Give us a sneak preview. All right. But don't say I didn't warn you. Never mind us. You should have warned the janitor. Pity you won't have a chance to perfect it before you face Skara. Don't be so sure. Come, our train is here. Whoa, classic! Whoa. Incredible! Whoa. Ooh, I take it back. I wish there would be volcanic eruptions more often. And that's not even the best part. Oh. Prof's latest invention. Oh, a oh, oh, you. The training coach. Uh, aren't you our training coach? It's a coach on a train, El Matador. Uh, aren't you coming on the train with us, coach? Uh, it's a coach on a train that trains you like a coach. I don't get it. This is just like the train in Inspector von Spectre and the mystery of the missing mystery train. With me, Klaus von Klinkerhofen on the case, no mystery will be left unsolved. Yeah, except for the mystery of how to pronounce your last name. <laughs> <laughs> I've analyzed this season's stats. Passing, shooting, possession, Invincible United and us are even in almost every way. That's why we need something special up our sleeves for the derby. The knuckleball. Exactly. Whoa! It's like we're not moving at all. How does it work? Oh, I was worried you'd ask that. Activate tutorial video. It's very, very simple, see? The carriage construction is an onion skin of steel tubes, each suspended in a fluid of equal density to its interior. This buoyancy creates an inertia damper, countering any force or acceleration the carriage is exposed to. I mean, how does the training work? Oh, right. Activate training program. Go ahead, give it a try. It's three days till the derby. Get the knuckleball ready by then, and we'll have the advantage over United. <sighs> An entire day of investigating, and I haven't found a single mystery. Uh, yeah, and the butler said if you try to sneak into his room again, he'll throw you off the train. In Inspector von Spectre novels, the butler is always guilty. I know he did it. Uh, did what, dude? I still have to work that out. <clears throat> butler, fancy meeting you here? Chill out, dude. He's just bringing a chow. Hmm. Uh. Oh. <gasps> That guy is definitely up to something. <gasps> My steak! Finally, a mystery! <laughs> hey, Shakes, man. How's the training? Tiring. What's up with the rest of the guys? Can I have your attention, please? A juicy, delicious steak has been stolen on this very train. 
and one of you is the culprit. Now, I'm not going to mention any names, only professions. Butler! Oh, uh, 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 sorry, everyone. He has an overactive imagination. Uh, yeah, and an underactive brain. Sorry I asked. <laughs> Just stay focused on perfecting the knuckleball, man. Invincible United are going to give us a game uh, and a half. Yep, but while they're traveling, I'm practicing. That's going to give us the edge. doing here? You think you're the only one stranded by this stupid ash cloud? But if I'd known you were on this train, I would have walked. Yeah, well, if you'd excuse me, I've got things to do. I can see that. What's in the fancy carriage? Wouldn't you like to know? Tell me. No. Why not? Say pretty please and I'll think about it. Uh, pretty please? E no. Huh? How about I play you for it? End to end in the dining car. First goal wins? Unless... Your chicken. <laughs> and I thought I'd have to wait till the game to kick your butt. Huh. Well, you're definitely going to be kicking yourself when you lose. Concentrate more in the ball and lessen your lean commentary. <gasps> Got you now, loser. <laughs> Sorry. You will be. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Looks like the train's on my side. The winning side. Get it, Gara! <laughs> Surprise! Dinga! Go! Scara wins! <laughs> you cheated! I said I'd play you. I didn't say it'd be one on one. <laughs> Whoa! Nice! Well, not bad for a second rate team like Super Strikers. What are you doing here? Whoa! What's that? You got your peak. Now, if you'd excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the tour. I've seen everything I need to see. <laughs> okay, day two. Knuckleball? Here we go! Oh, blocked us. How's the knuckleball coming along? I'm ready for action. <laughs> Scara may have seen the training carriage, but he has no idea what's coming his way. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, Scara challenged me to a game. And Wait, are you saying Scara is on this train? You're telling me you haven't seen Dingon and Scara? They're pretty hard to miss. Hmm. Wherever those guys go, trouble ain't far behind. Never mind that! We're being left behind! This is not good! And it's about to get worse, Ma! There has to be some kind of emergency system on this thing. 
Shakes, get me a ball, man. I got an idea. This isn't exactly the time for training, Captain. Train is over, Shakes, man. Time to put the knuckleball into action. I guess this means you perfected the knuckleball, Shakes Mark! Yeah! <laughs> Gara, we're coming for you! Any luck? Eh. Nothing. I don't get it. He has to be here somewhere. So let me get this straight. Your Saiyan Invincible United snuck on without anyone noticing, tried to ditch you in the middle of nowhere, and then just disappeared off a moving train. Yeah. I think you've been spending too much time with clouds. Don't worry, guys. The mystery's about to be solved. Excuse me, out of the way. Inspector Klaus von Kriegerhoff in coming through. Sorry I'm late. I had to fetch my mustache. Continue. I know it sounds a bit out there, but who else would want to strand me in the middle of nowhere just before a big game? The mystery of the missing mystery train is coming true. So? Using my powers of logic and deduction, I can confidently say there is one person on this train capable of such a crime. Oh, can't believe we're doing this. Shakes, once you eliminate the impossible... Yeah, like Skara disappearing off a moving train. Whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. In English, please. The butler did it. You again? I told you, I didn't touch your steak. This isn't about a mere steak anymore. This is about... <gasps> that! That's the pig from the training carriage. Uh, I've no idea how that got in here. Save it, butler. The next steak you serve will be in the prison cafeteria. <sighs> it's Derby Day, and with the volcano still grounding all flights, both teams have been forced to find other ways to get to the game on time. And here comes Super Strikers. Hmm? Here they are. It was my greatest case. It was your only case. Except the case isn't closed. Match D at Strikerland! Mac, do you think the team's lack of preparation will affect their performances? I don't know if this derby is going to be up to its usual high standards, Brenda. And we're off. Uh, looks like we were wrong, Brenda. Shakes and Scara aren't showing any rustiness from their extended travel time. In fact, they're both in sizzling hot form. <laughs> It's gonna take a real moment of genius to separate these two sides. Trying to ditch me in the middle of nowhere? That's low, even for you, Skara. Don't you read the paper shakes? No, uh, the butler did it. Uh, you may have tricked everyone else, but I know it was you. Prove it. I don't need to. Your plan failed. The knuckleball is complete. That I can prove. I hope. First of many, Skara. Ooh, scary. I'm shaking in my boot. Yeah, I know. That's why you tried to stop me from getting to the game. Please. I didn't even know you were on the training carriage. So you were on the train after all. Mm. I'm sorry, Shakes. Your suspicions were correct all along. It's cool, man. I'm sure even Inspector Von Specker made some mistakes. Skara's plan failed, and we've got the lead. That's all that matters. I'm afraid it is not that simple. What do you mean? Skara admitted that he did not know you were on the training carriage, which means his plan wasn't to stop you from getting to the game. Then what was he up to? Invincible United looked determined to get back on level terms. Out of my way! But after Sheik's wonder goal, they have their work cut out for them. What? What a goal! It looks like it's going to take more than a new move to separate these sides. That's... that's my shot! Oh, his plan wasn't to leave me stranded. It was to steal the knuckleball for himself. 
So he sets a carriage adrift. But then how did he learn the knuckleball and get to the match on time? Looks like your season is about to go off the rails. Elaborate crime? Foolproof alibi? Clever play on words? This guy is good. With the lead secured, Invincible United are making their first substitution. Hmm? Klaus, the railway line switched after the train went past. But why? Because Invincible United had another train waiting to pick it up and take them to the game. Of course! Mm -hmm. That could also explain how Skara escaped the train, because his getaway buzzed the train in carriage. Rasta and I must have been close to catching him in the act. was right all along. Skara was behind the train robbery. <laughs> Sorry we ever doubted you, brother. <laughs> yeah, but if you keep scoring goals like that, I don't care what you believe. So you solved the crime. Now let's punish United. using the same shooting technique. Do you think they've put aside their differences and are training together? Nah. nah. They can barely handle being on the same field as each other. Last chance. Ten Super Strikers <laughs> grab the winner. Too bad. Skara grabbed Shakes first. Sly move. The free kick looks too far out to shoot, even with Shakes' new Thunderbolt. In a way, drop for United. That'll do. There's still one thing I don't get, Skara. How did you plant the carriage peg in the butler's room if you left on the carriage? Easy, if you got the skill. I was making my getaway when I had a brilliant idea. Inspector Von Dorkface was so determined to bust the butler for something. So you planted the evidence he needed. And with an obvious suspect on the train, it was an open and shut case. <laughs> Pretty clever, Skara but we're still gonna beat you. Please, time's up. You're gonna have to share the points with us, just like you shared the knuckleball. Oh, he's right. The peg was the last part of the puzzle, but it's done nothing to swing the game in our favor. Hmm. Peg, swing. Gotta live in the moment. So how did you come up with the new move? Uh, that's one mystery I'm gonna keep to myself. And I don't want to give Skara any more credit. Talking about mysteries, where's Klaus? All right, this place is clean. Let's dump this thing before we get busted. But it's so amazing. It feels uh, like we're not moving at all. That's because we aren't moving, you idiot. We're in the train yard. It is awesome. We could be moving at 100 miles an hour right now, and we wouldn't feel a thing. Finally, the mystery train does disappear, with the culprits on board. Thanks again for the help, Inspector Von Gunkel. Um, Klaus is fine. There's a prison cell waiting for those two. Well, once we release the butler. Oh, yeah. Tell him I'm sorry about that. Don't worry. We also thought it was him. Yeah. In Inspector Von Spector's huh? stories, the butler is always guilty. Always guilty. Wait. 
You guys know Inspector Von Spector? Are you kidding me? He's the reason I became a Super League agent in the first place. Yeah, me too. No way. We had a poster of him up at the SLDB headquarters. Yeah, big fans. So, do you guys know the Inspector theme song? Do we? Inspector Von Spector, the primo detector. He's got style, he's got class, and a really cool mustache. You have just witnessed. I, Urigiri, invited every player in Japan to attack Nakama. Yet not a single one of those weak fools could breach our new defensive technique. Jerk! Mm. Nothing can stand up to Nakama's discipline, devotion, and dedication. The Super League is as good as ours. You think Urigiri's up to something? <laughs> when isn't he? Urigiri has used dirty tactics in the past. But this time, he has something much more dangerous. The perfect defense. Discipline, devotion, dedication. And frizzy hair. Coach, I hate training in the rain. When are we gonna practice some attacking moves? Uh, uh, yeah. Super Strikers are all about the flair and style. Not this time. The only way we're going to beat Nakama is by matching their discipline. That means training in formation, eating in formation, relaxing in formation. Go left! No, 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 no. Go, go, go right, go right. <laughs> and don't forget partying in formation, hey guys? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? There's a totally epic underground mall, like right beneath us! It's the best shops, a three-story arcade, and most importantly, the world's best hair salon! Uh, <laughs> this rain is killing my style! The only place you're going is back to your rooms. What? But I promised my Aunt Hilda I'd get her a present in Tokyo! Do you think Urigiri lets Nakama go out the night before a game? Uh -huh. I don't think so. I know this is tough, guys, but we just gotta trust Coach. He's totally focused on beating Nakama. Rasta is right, man. Coach is totally focused on Nakama. Maybe a little too focused. Yes, yes, perfect. <laughs> Sensei! Wah! Nico! Don't sneak up on me like that! What are you doing? You know I want to beat Super Strikers with hard work, and only hard work! Ha! This time, I don't need to cheat! Our defense is impenetrable! <laughs> then what are you doing? Writing a condolence letter to Coach. <clears throat> Dear Coach, second place isn't so bad. Unless there are only two teams, you suck! Love, Urigiri. So, what do you think? Do not underestimate Super Strikers. They are a worthy adversary. Ha! Ah, they do not have the discipline to crack our defensive might. That's why I have to find other ways to keep myself busy. Or would you prefer it if I came up with an evil scheme? No, no! This is a, a bit better, I suppose. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some important business to attend to. I've got a big surprise for Coach. Aunt Hilda, please forgive me. 
I'll show you, Lord Geary. Huh? Who's there? Stop! <clears throat> Where are you guys going? We're, we're uh, sleepwalking. Oh, uh, right. Uh, all right, you busted us. But I need a break from coach's training. Eat information, sleep information. Too much information, information. Uh, we just going to go to the mall for like an hour. Uh, no big deal. I'm sorry, guys, but we must stay in formation. So I'll have to come with you. <laughs> A perfect surprise for Coach. The toilet shed trophy for when we beat Super Strikers. Oh no! Worry about him. So jealous. If they see me, the surprise will be ruined. Oh wow! This place is amazing. What's really amazing is my hair. <laughs> Check it out. That monster mask looks just like Urigiri. It's definitely as ugly as him. <gasps> Aunt Hilda will love it. Don't you think she has enough presents? Nine. All I got her is this inflatable cheese, some board games, a mall map, these camera sunglasses, and these cool light-up shoelaces for myself. That's the most useless junk I've ever seen. No, it isn't. Shh, keep it down, guys. We don't want anyone recognizing us. Yeah? If Coach hears we snuck out, we are dead. <laughs> oh, it's gone. You snooze, you lose, yeah? I'll show you what happens when you make fun of Urigiri. Hey, look, everyone. It's Super Strikers. <gasps> look, yeah. is it really them? It is them. We're trapped. Maybe not. The small map says that door should lead us to the surface. Are you sure? It's either that or face Coach when he sees us all over tomorrow's newspapers. <laughs> hey, I'm at the door. Side by side, I love you, Cloud. <laughs> and I thought the toilet trophy would make Coach mad. Just wait till he finds out about this. Back! Back, you heat! <laughs> Yes! Yes! Perfect! Hmm. Maybe I need a little break. Mm. <sighs> Whoa! What is this place? Whoa! This is crazy! Wait! Oh, this gives me a great idea! This is going to make the best holiday video! Where are we? Klaus, pass me the map. Okay. This isn't a map, it, it's snakes and ladders. <laughs> but they look so similar. Man, hmm. the snakes and ladders made more sense than this. Uh, I just wanted my hair to look good for the game, and now we may not even get there. Oh, we should have listened to Coach. Huh? <gasps> oh, I've heard the ball rats. But that's ridiculous. <gasps> My poor hair! Sleep well. You're gonna need it. Um, I need some sleep too. Until we will never get to see her presents! Klaus, that's it! The inflatable uh -huh. cheese! Now just put the cord and... <laughs> uh, why did I pick the Swiss cheese? Uh -huh. Oh, right. 
Hey, Klaus! Looks like that junk you bought wasn't totally useless after all! <laughs> we made it! Oh, oh, but we're not the only ones. Ground pigeons. I hate ground pigeons. Stay chilled. They won't bother us unless we give them a reason to... <gasps> Get back! This is how you does cheese! Oh, over here! Close! Drop the cheese! Fine! It's for Alkinda! Next time Coach makes a curfew, remind me to listen to him. Yes, the shopping is way too dangerous these days. I'm so tired. At least no one noticed we were gone. And I want to keep it that way. Huh? Hey, my holiday video! Yeah, the only evidence of our little shopping trip now, come on. If we don't get some sleep, Nakama will end us. Then Coach will end us for real. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, sleep! Rise and shine, Super Strikers. It's time to show Nakama what you're made of. Dark storm clouds loom over the Kashuku Stadium. An epic backdrop for an epic game of football. Nakama's defense has been tighter than a jar of pickles, but if anyone can get it open, it's Super Strikers. Aye, but the men in red will need to be on top for him to win this one. Huh? Coach still played them after they disobeyed his orders? What an undisciplined fool. Unless he doesn't know. Tokyo is an expensive city, Super Strikers, and your little shopping trip just cost you dearly. <laughs> and we're off! Well, someone should tell Shakes and Almatador that! Pass the ball, man! <laughs> what are you playing at, Origiri? Why don't you open the message and find out? <laughs> Forget it. Huh? I'm not falling for your tricks. But your players were- Shut it. The only thing I'm interested in is cracking your defense. <laughs> Nakama steal possession. And Super Strikers get it back. Nakama take it again. And Strikers return the favor. Nakama. Super Strikers. Nakama. Super Strikers. Hey, I feel like I'm commentating tennis here, Brenda. Why are they so tired already? They have too many extracurricular activities, Coach. Huh. What would you know? Only what I saw in the message. Why don't you take a look yourself? Not gonna happen. <sighs> it's been a tightly contested game so far. But now Nakama are beginning to turn the screws. And Super Strikers lazy forwards ain't helping. They should really track back and defend. Especially against an organized team like Nakama. Look at all the space they have to attack. What a shot! Oh, my! And Big Bo defies the laws of gravity to keep the scores even. Nakama are running us into the ground, and it's all my fault. Strikers are trying to match Nakama at their own game, but it's just not working. Unless the forwards help out in defense, coaches' men are going to be completely overrun. Shakes, El Matador, Klaus! Didn't you listen to a word I said in training? Where's the oh. discipline? Super Strikers are getting mauled out there. And they were in the mall last night. What are you on about, Urigiri? First check the message, then we can talk shop. Like which shop I saw your players in. <laughs> I'm good at this. You wanna do what? If it carries on like this, we're gonna lose. Big time. But Coach is acting all crazy. Who knows what he'll do to us if you tell him? I'm sorry, guys, but I've got to do this. The game depends on it. 
Huh? Coach! What is it, Shakes? Well, uh, I... I wanted to tell you... <laughs> How good you're looking! Is that a new suit? Did you get a haircut? No, that's not it. I was gonna say that... How wonderful it is to be in a team like Super Strikers! Oh, it makes me so proud. No, I... Enough! Sit down and keep quiet. Something went very wrong out there. And I know whose fault it is. Mine! Mine. What? Ah, so close. Huh? After you, Shakes. Close, El Matador and I are too tired to stick to the strategy because we were out all night. Hmm. Well, that explains what Urigiri was on about. Before a big game? What were you thinking, man? Totally not cool, dudes. But it wasn't our fault. Yeah, we, we were only going to go out for an hour. Uh, but then we got chased by crazy fans into these huge underground tunnels. Floated down a river on inflatable cheese. And got attacked by sewer rats. Ugh. That's the worst excuse I ever heard! <laughs> yeah, about as bad as your guys' performance. Real funny, guys. I have to poof! <clears throat> but... I have to take Aunt Hilda something. Well, what do you know? They're telling the truth. What you did was reckless, irresponsible, and completely unprofessional. And what's more, it's my fault. <gasps> I was so focused on Urigiri's strategy, I couldn't see that playing so defensively isn't the Super Striker's way. Maybe if I had trusted our natural attacking style, you wouldn't have done this. Right now, all we need to focus on is winning this game. Right, coach? Yeah, sure. Come on, guys. Let's get out there and win this game. The Super Strikers way. Hmm. Could it be? Another Nakama attack! Super Striker's Shot Stopper has single-handedly kept his team in the game. Oh, Coach, I got you a present in the mall. You'll never guess who I saw there. Who? Hmm. Come on, guys. This is our chance to make things right. Now that's more like it from Super Strikers. Great interplay by the front three. Will this attack break the deadlock? Shakes must score! <gasps> but the Nakama defense shuts the door in his face. Not even the mighty Super Strikers are a match for Nakama's defense. And it looks like Coach is making a substitution. Doesn't surprise me, Brenda. Shakes, Klaus, and El Matador have been way off the pace today. <laughs> Sorry, Coach. The substitutes will do a better job. Uh, yeah. We'll just uh, sit on the bench where it's nice and dry. I'm not subbing you. What? Because I need you guys for my brand new game plan. It's weird. It's risky. It's totally loco. It's perfect. We're almost at full time, and unbelievably, the scorers are still level. But it's not over yet, Mac. The last few minutes are always the hardest. And Super Strike has launched one final attack. It looks more like interpretive dance to me. Whatever it is, it's working. Nakama don't seem to know how to defend against this erratic movement. Stop them, you fool! Where's that famous Nakama discipline, Uragiri? <sighs> Much longer. Then let's finish it now. I can't do it. I'm too tired. But I got all the energy in the world. What a goal! I don't understand! How did you crack my ultimate defense? I learned a new technique. You've probably never heard of it. It's pretty underground. 
Well done, guys. You did us proud. Relax and enjoy yourselves. But not too much. <laughs> too late, coach. Get this out of my hair! <laughs> as the home team takes on the mighty Azul. Uh. Dancing Rasta picks out his left midfielder, Cool Joe. The Crossing King. I gotta smooth it, groove it. Yes, Cool Joe, make me look good, buddy. Five, four, move it to prove it. Three, two, one. Even the Los Santos had no answer for that cross. It just made him very cross. <laughs> And there it is, the Crossing King's famous knee slide celebration. And he go, Redeemer! I love you, Cool Joe. <laughs> you think they're cheering now? Well, just wait for tonight. That's right, groovy people. Concert at the park tonight with Cool Joe and the Froze. We'll be there, Cool Joe. I want your autograph! <laughs> we want your autograph too, Cool Joe. We want your autograph too. This is cool. Cool Joe gets a crowd at Strikerland and here with the Froze. Yes, Shakes. But you know this whole funk music thing? Uh, nobody really likes it, yes? Yeah, <laughs> yo, El well, Matador. Watch and learn, brother. Watch and learn. Play some rock and roll, man. Some little, little, one and two. Cool Joe, how about boy band classics? You could be famous, yeah? Mm. No? Yo, my people, welcome to the park. We have a song about the Azul. Respect to one of the Super League's greatest teams. But we showed you today, brothers. Get up. Get up now. Get up. Get up now. Now here's a story about a guy I know whose skill is out of sight. Hey, this is, is good stuff. Wow, Cool Joe's band is awesome! Sure, totally wish it was me up there, dude. I still like the boy band classics. The pro whose crosses can't be stopped. He's a fucking co-redeemer. His skill is out of sight. He's a fucking co-redeemer. He's perfect. Absolutely perfect. A couple of tweaks here and there, and he'll be out more. Perfect. Get out the contract. He crosses and he scores. So, does this mean early retirement from the beautiful game? No ways, brother. I love music, but I live football. Well, that's good, because you know who's up next. You don't have to remind me about Colossus and Iron Tank, bro. <laughs> it's going to be a couple of big matches. Mr. Joe. Mr. Cool Joe. Yeah? We're A and R. Whoa, hold up. You mean the multi-million platinum selling hit-making machine? That's us, and we want to make you our next big hit. I am Tank. Yeah, what, 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 what is the key to beating the enemy? Yeah? Training, preparation, and determination. Kind of one push-up. The other key. Skills, kind of one push-up. No. The key is knowing your enemy's weakness. Knowing the enemy's weakness. Stop repeating everything I say. Stop repeating everything. It's, uh... Who are you? Uh, I am the new guy. They sent me over from tactical division. More like the puny pipsqueak division. <laughs> In tactical, we are taught to use our brains. A thinker? An ideas man? We will see about that. <laughs> Super strikers are very strong right now. They will crush the Grecian insects next week, but we, we will find their weakness. Ideas? Um, their weakness is they are too good? <laughs> He's right. Their strength becomes the weakness, people. Their strength becomes the weakness. Find the strength 
what we find your weakness, yeah? Whoa, Groovy! One crazy happening studio you guys got here. Well, it can be yours. All yours. Just sign here. And here. And here. And here. And here. And here. Welcome to the team. Groovy! Uh, we have a great idea. Instead of saying groovy, why not have your own mm -hmm. catchphrase? Like, like, Kishaza Wow! Oh. It's in the contract. This catchphrase will be your calling card, your signature sound. But I have a signature. It's in the contract. Oh, by the way, we have big plans to take the first single, Plutonium. Plutonium? It's in the contract. Silver, gold, platinum, plutonium. That is so groove. Kishesi, wow. Ah. Now you're getting it. And we have some other ideas, too. <laughs> so tonight, as we watch Colossus play Strikers, we need to ask ourselves, what are Super Strikers' strengths? What are Super Strikers' strengths? Any original ideas? How about you, ideas man? The uh, forward's very cool goal celebration? Okay, I give you a chance. Ignore the newbie! Cut him out, pretend he doesn't exist. Let's see what we can find, yeah? What a match night here at Striker Land, Mac. Should possibly be called fight night. Look at the size of them. Well, it's the first of two sizable challenges for Super Strikers. Colossus tonight, an iron tank on the weekend. I gotta move it, groove it, smooth it to prove it. Five, four, three. Come on, buddy. Make me look good. Two, one. Huh? Not often we see Shakes and El Matador miss those, Brenda. Hey, cool Joe! The head is here! I can tell your head isn't in the game, Ma. Ha! Yo, it's El Matador's head that wasn't in the game. That cross was pitch perfect. Just focus on the football, Ma. You got it, Captain. Move it. Prove it. Move it to prove it. No weakness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One go. Ah. Huh? Kapow! Kapow! Huh? I don't believe it. The rookie was right all along. <laughs> Where is he? Ignore the newbie. Cut, Cut him, out. him out. Pretend, Pretend he doesn't exist. exist. Are you crazy? You have him chewing on the hardy alpine grass with the goats? But what can the puny peepsqueak do? He will help us understand this mind that has gone astray. The mind of cool Joe. Okay, boys. We need goals. But Iron Tank like to put up pretty big hurdles. Whoa, coach. It looks like your Super Striker's action figure shrunk in the wash. Nope. These are exact scale models. Oh, models? Where? Zabra! Yeah. Focus. Don't be intimidated. No chance, coach. Dispossess cleanly and get the ball to the wing. Cool Joe can thread it through the defense to us. Uh, right, Cool Joe? Cool Joe? Where is Cool Joe? Anyone? Full time waits for no man. I assume you have an exercise for us, coach. Indeed. North, Eagle Eye, and Block will act as the Iron Tank defenders for our strike force. Sure! Block fits the bill, but what makes us dead ringers for those totally mutant defenders? I have something that will suit you. Whoa! Robotronical body armor! Awesome! You're going down, Super Strikers. Uh, Strikers? <laughs> Yo! Aha. Uh -huh. Sorry, brothers. Did I miss anything? Uh, your wardrobe? Join your attack crew and prepare to face... Iron Tank.
Sorry, dude. Yo, Shakes, <laughs> that goal was guru. Uh, uh, not supposed to say that anymore. Say what? Groovy? Yeah, gru. Uh, that. Why not, dude? It's in my contract. Ha! The only funny thing in my contract is that the club cannot hire anyone better looking. Not my Super Strikers contract, numb nuts. My record contract. In fact, no groovy, funky, or even brother. So what can you say? Kusheta wow. Huh? Kusheta wow. Uh, one more time. Kusheta wow. Hmm. Ah, you guys wouldn't understand. Now leave me alone to do what Cool Joe does best. I thought you did soccer best, dude. Johan Nooper, the groove remover. Funky's not his style. And I thought I saw him miss the ball. And then he did it twice. But there ain't no use in a cross with no receiver. Unless you're blessed with the best. It's just not right. You're right. It's wrong. And it's not in the contract. What's up, man? That was a smoking jam. <laughs> we have a song we think would be more suitable for your first multi-mega billion-selling debut single, Cool Joe. My love for you will go on and on and on and on forever and ever, my darling. It's a five-part vocal song about how it feels to be in love with the same person, like forever and ever. And ever. I'm not sure this is really what I... But it's dropping tomorrow, and we don't have a definite plutonium hit. It's in the contract. A plutonium number one debut single is all you need. To pave the way to a career as a recording artist. Okay, okay. Let's get to it. I got another big game tomorrow. And when I say big, I mean big. <laughs> Whoa, this is crazy! What? Our popularity or that ridiculous song? Hey, brother. Buddy, it's done the job, right? Everyone's listening to it on repeat. Yeah, well, it's repeating on me, just not how it's meant to. Come on. It's not that bad. Huh? <laughs> cool Joe. Cool Joe, it's us. We're con calling. It's in the contract. Your song is a monster hit, my friend. Wow. So, we've arranged a gig for you, Cool Joe, tomorrow. Can't do it, man. I got a game against Iron Tank. This is a halftime gig at Striker Land. A concert on the park? My park? Great. Just remember, be very, very careful during the game. Any damage to the new look or your ability to perform on stage will mean no plutonium hits, no tour, and no halftime gig. Don't worry, guys. I love football, but I live music. So, using the tabloid press as my primary research source, I have deduced that Cool Joe's love for music is more important than his life as a soccer star. Keyword, tabloid. Colonel, how can we use this to win? The target, the Crossing King. No commitment to his life as soccer star, means no service to the two strikers, means no goals. And with the tank in town, there's a new sound dropping on striker land. <laughs> Heavy metal. Um, we got a no-show on our hands? Huh, <laughs> quite the opposite, Shakes. At halftime, you were gonna see a show like no uh, other. I mean, I and Tank, Cool Joe. Match night at Strikerland. And the big question, have I and Tank chickened uh, out? Uh, I don't think so, Mac. Huh? You think the ref will book them for skydiving, Brenda? Quite an entry, Mac. I'm kind of glad they didn't bring a tank. So is the grounds man. Now that is performance. Kinda like what Cool Joe is gonna serve up when he debuts his first single, The Striker Land. Cool Joe, the only performance you need to think about is your performance with the ball, okay? Sure, Captain. The soccer first, performance at halftime. And then more soccer, right? Right. Game on!
one. Iron Tank goes straight into the forward offensive. Thor skips past Shakes' tackle, but here comes the funky goal redeemer. Huh? Oh, like that clunky cold retreat up, Brenda. The new guy is so genius. Well, I guess the captain knows to play to his teammates' strength. Yep. Leave the tackling to block in north, and leave the crossing to the king. Heaver! Let's see if Striker's attack can pierce the tank's armor, shall we? <laughs> You're running on a blending slip, Cool Joe. Time for takeoff already. I gotta. Uh, what's it I gotta do again? Be very, very careful. Very careful. Very careful. Any damage, any damage. Or you're. Or you're, or you're, or you're, or you're <laughs> Not the money maker. No. Hey Shakes, why did Cool Joe cross the road? Uh... Because he can't cross the ball. <laughs> cool Joe's crossing is neutralized. Now, the attack. Thor makes it 1 0 to the visitors. Have to say that it looks to me that Cool Joe has lost his groove, Brenda. Dude, what's up with you? Where's the Crossing King? Sorry, Shakes. Right now, I can't keep my peeps waiting. What are you talking about? We've been waiting the whole day. Shakes, brother. Time to turn this frown upside down. Just in case the soccer isn't entertaining enough for you, please put your hands together for Strike the Land's multi-talented, multi-instrumental, and soon multi-award winning, Cool Joe! Shazza, wow, yeah! Strike the Land, this is Joe and his brothers. My love for you is blooming Like a flower in the summer sun I thought his crossing was bad. The only thing about flowers oh. is they just don't last very long. My love for you will go on and on and on and on and on. It's pretty good, y'all. Yeah? Anybody? Dudes, say it isn't so. My love for you. Sound cool, Joe. Super strikers have no chance. Hey, what you doing, cool Joe? What have I done? This isn't me. Huh? Huh? Woo! Sorry, brothers. I got it all wrong. But that don't mean we can't serve up a funky jam sandwich to the good people of Strikerland. That's not in the contract! No, no, no! no. About a guy I know who still is out of sight. With his funky grooves and his deadly moves, two defenders all left right. Now, this is a band I can believe in. I've got an idea. What's the name of Cool Joe's record company? Strike Land. <laughs> Cool Joe is no longer preoccupied with number one, the top ten, or the Billboard Hot 100. The only numbers he cares about are those numbers up there. And there's something you gotta know. They're wrong. Let's make it right. Johan Nuber, the group remover. And I thought I'd fall and miss the ball. But there ain't no use in a cross with no receiver. The head will draw the head. Two, Unless you're blessed with one. one. Guys, I'm sorry. 
I let someone else tell me who to be. Yeah, and they got it wrong. You should be in rock anthem band, right? <laughs> no, no, El Matador. It's Cool Joe and the Froze forever, man. Cool Joe, your tour to Japan is off. <laughs> Groovalicious. I've got a tour to Japan coming up anyway with my band of brothers, Super Strike. What has happened to you? The funk happened. Funk isn't in the contract. It is now. We just bought sold out records. And you guys are fired. Yes. Yes. Now, what are we going to do with all these? Huh? I think I can help with that. <laughs> Palmentieri have a one-goal lead. Can they hold out, Mac? I don't think they have enough players, Brenda. The Samba Kings are Ooh. dropping like flies. And Invincible United are the fly swatter. Boo! That wasn't a tackle. It was a uh, uh, salt. Donaldo goes on the attack. Brilliant skills from the captain. And it looks like he's just getting warmed up. Ooh, I gotta do everything myself. Once again, Invincible played dirty and get away with it. Don't worry, Shakes Man. The Super League takes dangerous play very seriously. They'll sort United out. They better do it soon or there won't be any teams left. Well done, Skara. Once again, you've made us look like the dirtiest team in the Super League. <laughs> Why, thank you. That wasn't a compliment. The Super League Disciplinary Board is going to be all over us. Perhaps I could be of assistance. Who are you? I'm the guy who's going to make your bad reputation disappear. Now, I'm going to ask you one more time. Who are you? In your top pocket, Vince. Otto Von Drake, illusionist extraordinaire. So, what? You perform tricks at birthday parties? I can do a great many things, Skara. Whoa. Okay, you have my attention now. What do you want? What all illusionists want, to astound and amaze. Mm. To make the impossible a reality. To turn your expectations upside down. Uh -huh. And for my next great illusion, I would like to make Invincible United the cleanest team in the Super League. And Super Strikers the dirtiest. <laughs> now that's my kind of magic trick. Huh? Huh? It's been another weekend of heart thumping football action, but there was thumping of another kind as Invincible. United battered Club Palmentieri with a dreadful display of low Tell me about dirty it. football. Mm -hmm. The Super League head honchos have stated they'll be keeping an extra close eye on Vince's side. Hmm, about time. Especially in the big derby coming up against Super Strikers. In response, Invincible United have issued this unusual statement. Huh? Uh -oh. Friends, neighbors, teammates, there's been a lot of talk going around about dirty play. Sure, Invincible United may have played dirty in the past, hired other people to play dirty for us, built robots to help us play dirty, taught those robots to build other robots to help us play even dirtier. But hey, who has it? <laughs> What's important <gasps> is that we've learned from our mistakes and are ready to turn over a new leaf. <laughs> Presenting the Invincible United Fair Play Monument. Because everyone deserves a second chance. They sure <laughs> do, Timmy. My name's huh? George. <laughs> and cut. Somebody get this back to the agency. It's stinking up my suit. Ugh, what a waste of time. No one's ever going to believe us. Ha! When Houdini said he'd bury himself alive, no one believed him. When Copperfield said he'd make the Statue of Liberty disappear, no one believed him either. 
All great illusions start with disbelief, and I, Otto von Drake, will create the greatest illusion the world has ever seen! Yeah, yeah, all right, we get it. What now? Now, we invite some volunteers up onto our stage. The Invincible United Fair Play Monument? <laughs> That's like the El Matador Award for modesty. Well... I am the most modest person in the whole world. <laughs> when Vince got the child's name wrong, I laughed so hard I shot milk through my nose. <laughs> and I wasn't even drinking milk. <laughs> <laughs> but Vince knows no one will believe him. Why bother? Probably just trying to distract us, man. He's done more huh? than that. He's invited us to the Fair Play Monument's grand unveiling. Yeah. Nice pajamas, loser. I mean, very nice to see you, Shakes. Now why don't you shake hands to show that there are no hard feelings? Ah, what was that? I didn't see anything. Me neither. Hmm. I don't get it. Me neither, man. A united monument to fair play. Just makes no sense. No, 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 no. Not that. I don't get what this has to do with me being so modest. Canapes, gentlemen. <laughs> Maybe the bronze statue reminds shakes of my tan muscle. You! <laughs> oh, that tastes like feet wrapped in more feet. Where'd the waiter go? Don't know, man. Weird. All right, buddy. Party's over. Huh? No! That went perfectly. Huh. A magical evening doesn't count as a grand illusion. Have some patience, Scar. Face it, Vince. Hocus Dorcas ripped you off. So it would seem. But misdirection is the cornerstone of all great illusions. For instance, what do you see here? The stupid fair play monument, obviously. Is it really just a fair play monument? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> this is where I will teach you and your teammates the last step of our illusion. Finally, some action! So, what do you want me to do? Allow me to illuminate my plan. Coach, you're right, man. You may want to sit down for this. Super Strikers and Invincible United have always represented the opposite sides of the game. Flair against force, skill against scheming, Coach's amazing ears versus Vince's bad acidors. But with only days until the two Super League giants meet, there's been a big role reversal. Oh. An anonymous source has sent us this shocking footage. Handshake for fair play? Oh. Yeah, right, says Shakes. <laughs> nice one. I didn't do that. El Matador spits in the face of fair play. Literally. Whoa, no way. Hey, they took out that waiter. What a con, dudes. Don't you worry, man. It's the team that trains hardest who wins trophies, not the one with the best practical jokes. Yeah. 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 But if we can get that security footage, we can totally expose United's dirty tactics. Right now, let's focus on our own training. I have something new set up for you guys at the secret training compound. This time, they have gone too far, Kujo. Tell me about it, Tiger. Hey, Spence, I got a big favor to ask you. a burger. Now, 
Let's see what we have here. Gotcha. We've seen that Invincible United will use every dirty trick to get what they want. But this time, we're going to be ready for them. Presenting the Gauntlet. United will bring you down every chance they get, so you'll need lightning fast reflexes. When up against a physical team like United, agility and balance are essential. Terminator! Yes, strength is important too. Hey, coach, what's the point of this? Ouch! Be ready for anything. Stupid robot girl, that's the last time I give her my autograph. Hey, Spins, did you find the tape? Oh, I found a lot more than that. United are so going down. Woohoo! There. Hey, that waiter put something down my shirt. And there he is again, serving El Matador dodgy snacks. That's it, Spenza. The proof we need to take Vince and Scarlet <laughs> down. But the best part's still coming up. What do you mean? Just watch. A secret oh. passage behind the Fair Play Monument. Classic Invincible United. Man, I thought this was just about making us look bad. But there's something much bigger going on here. Whatever United are up to, that's where we're gonna find out what it is. Oh. Oh. Welcome to the Super League's biggest grudge match, Invincible United versus Super Strikers. Vince's men may have a reputation as the dirtiest team in the league, but it's Super Strikers who've been causing all the controversy of late. What's he doing here? I know you're up to something, Skara. <laughs> Just wait till kickoff, Shakes. You won't know what's hit you. Game on, and Super Strikers go straight into the attack. Super Strikers may have a new bad boy image, but their football is as good as ever. And the Super League board will be happy that it's been a squeaky clean match so far. Uh, what's going on? Where's your grand illusion? A good magic trick takes time, Vince. First, you show the audience that you have nothing to hide. <laughs> but you are actually directing their attention away hey. from what's really going on. My wallet! Now, Watch. Too slow, muchacho. What? Oh! El Matador hits the ground like a sack of potatoes. But there's no contact from Dingon. Ref, that was a wrestling move. Come on, El Matador. He was nowhere near you, man. Claro. I swear he fouled me. Now, what was that handshake again? You open! Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. <gasps> ha! No ways! Huh? <laughs> Time to find out what United are up to! I don't believe it! This is a real goal scoring opportunity, Brenda! It's a penalty! That tackle was dirtier than my mustache on spaghetti night! Blah, blah, blah! I don't know, bro. It did look like you fouled him. Skara steps up. Away with ease! And it's no more than United deserve. They've been better at everything today. Except for fouling and diving, that is. Uh -oh. huh? 
Huh? Try to stop this. How about time? What? And Shakes gets a yellow card for diving. And that brings an end to the first half. More like the first round, Brenda. Super Strikers need to take off their boxing gloves and put on their soccer boots. <gasps> I don't believe it. There's nothing here. Why go to all this effort to hide an empty room? This will truly be my greatest illusion. And our greatest victory over Super Strikers. Illusion? <gasps> of course. A magician. I gotta tell Shakes. What's going on out there? Fouling? Diving? That's not how Super Strikers play. I don't know, Coach. There's some bad juju going down. He's right. It's like they were fouling us without... without fouling us. Is that really the best you can come up with? You're all going to get sent off if you carry on like this. Hey. Oh, this? Oh. Ow! Let go of me! What's going on here? I caught this vandal graffitiing the stadium. What? I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, yeah? Then what do you call this? I call it caught red-handed. More like green-handed. <laughs> All I know is that I was on my way to tell you guys about the magician when this thug jumped me. Wait, what magician? That waiter guy. Vince hired him to pull off some grand soccer illusion. Now, can somebody get this guy off me? You heard him, man. <laughs> magician, eh? Come on, guys. Whoa. I think I know what's going on here. Whoa. Whoa. What is it, dude? Some kind of code. Uh, or a magic spell. No, man. It's backwards. Whoa. These are instructions on how to foul and dive using illusions. So when Skara said I wouldn't know what hit me, he meant it literally. This whole thing. The fair play monument, the videotape, the game, it's... It's part of one big trick. To make United look good. And us look dirty. Listen to this. Draw the audience to what you want them to see so they don't see what's really happening. So when United tackle, everyone is so busy watching their front foot that they don't see those dirty cheats tripping us with their trailing leg. I think it's time we show United they're not the only ones who have mastered sleight of... foot. Football is full of illusions, man. A step over, a back heel, these are all ways to misdirect your opponent. Now get out there and weave some Super Strikers magic. One, two, three, Super Strikers! And we're back on with the second half. Let's hope there's more football and less play acting from Super Strikers. I see it. Dancing Rasto looks for Cool Joe out wide. <laughs> you can foul without being seen, but I can pass without even kicking the ball. Oh, brilliant improvisation from the funky winger. What a move! Tony! And what a goal! Mm. <laughs> Don't worry, even the best performers have an off night. That goal has given Super Strikers the confidence to take control of this game. Coach must have conjured up one heck of a halftime speech, cause the men in red are back to their sparkling best. No more illusions. It's time for some real value. United, take him out! You'll have to catch me first. Remember the gauntlet, Shakes. Invincible United can do worse. <laughs> Looks like United have given up on the magic tricks and are back at their old dirty tricks. How about we try a magic trick of our own? 
Strikers are about to take the free kick, and United can't believe their eyes. Almost the whole team is lined up to take it. <laughs> hey, where's the ball? <clears throat> Africadabra. You have to see that place to believe it. So let's look at the replay. Brilliant piece of misdirection from El Toro. And Shakes finishes the move with a bang. I told you this stupid plan would work. I want my money back, or I'm going to make you disappear. Uh, yes. Well, you see, shut up! <laughs> Where'd he go? After him! <laughs> hey, buddy! The exit's the other way! <laughs> now that's what I call misdirection. <laughs> View technically training highlights. Right, boys, let's see what you've got. Give them a chance, Tony. That's it! How do I stand a chance against Super Strikers with you, Hooded Hoodlums? The Moof Monster would make a better soccer player than you lot! <sighs> you, uh, primetime television. He's this season's top goal scorer, and he hopes to add to his tally when he takes on Technicali in LA. Shakes, how do you do it week after week? Ah, view. I call it the zone. Er? The zone. Can you be more specific, perhaps? It's like when all the pieces of the puzzle come together. Skill, training, discipline, teamwork. That's what I call the zone. Okay. So how do you get into the zone? I have no idea. I just do. And that's when I feel unstoppable. Well... I'm sure plenty of people would just love to get into that head of yours and discover the zone for themselves. Yes. Get into that head and steal the zone for my team. <laughs> ah, Mr. Shakes. Uh, let me say what a pleasure it is to have you here at Chateau Marchand. Thanks, man. Your room key. Uh, sorry. I think this is the wrong room. We always get booked in under our jersey numbers. No, this is your room number. No, this isn't even any number on our team. No! Shakes, are you being difficult again? Apologies, Mr. Concierge dude, but our friend here has some serious jet lag. Welcome to L.A. Best of luck against Technicali, etc. Blah, blah. Whoa! It was an innocent mistake, Shakes, dude. Maybe there's someone important staying in room number 10. No, I I'm in room 20. You are superstitious super striker, Shakes? Whoa! It's like all the other rooms. <laughs> you are in the zone, Shakes. The arrogant, overblown superstar zone. Ignore them, Shakes, man. They know the zone is real. All great sports people find themselves in the zone sometime. Be cool. And don't forget Coach's special training tomorrow, whatever that means. Yeah! Tony Vernon and his cap cohorts are not taking those three Super League points from us, dude. The Ron Nevitt suite? Rockstar? Movie star? Well, now Ron Nevitt's suite is home. To the soccer star. Huh? Whoa, weird. California dreaming? <laughs> <laughs> this is no dream, Shakes. Coach? That's my name, Shakes Coach. Where are we? What's going on? <laughs> um, you're in a VRCPT, a virtual reality chamber pod. Thing. Whoa! Okay, this rocks. So how's it work? You're suspended in a gel bubble at a local training facility. And we're going to make it seem like you are playing football for real. Okay. Uh, why? Because my players, <clears throat> I mean, your teammates, could benefit from having brainical zonage induction. 
It's brilliant. We find out which part of your brain controls the zone, then force zonalation in the other Super Strikers during the game. The others don't need my help. They all rock. That's what makes us cool. We're like Voltron. Enough! I mean, you're right, Shakes. But imagine if we could all share our unique skills. What do you need to recreate the zone? Uh, a ball? Activate ball. Yeah! 804? Or was that 904? Nothing special about this training! Coach, you can't blame us! All this talk about the zone, the TV appearances, the magazine covers, have all gone to Shake's head. I trusted you guys to keep him focused. We did, Coach! We saw him go into his room last night. Dude was so anti that mix-up with his key. Mix-up? Stop. Nice, thank you. Uh, whatever you did. Shakes was booked in under his jersey number, 10. No, no, coach. Someone more important even than me was staying in number 10. Really? First I've heard of it. Chateau Machon. Super Strikers coach here. Good morning, coach. How is your practice going to be? May I speak to the front desk person who booked us in last night? Yes, of course, coach. Bring me the chicken book. Like me, I'm also not very regular. Where are you, Shanks? Uh, I'll need opposition. Activate Skara. <gasps> hey, Shakes. Huh? Wow, it's great to see you. Uh, I just want to say how much respect I have for you Coach? as a player, man. Why is Skara acting weird? He is? Yeah, he's being all <laughs> nice to me. Big ups, bro. Oh! Oh, right. Um, you and Skara are arch rivals. This should fix it right up. What you looking at, loser? <laughs> now that's Skara. Uh -huh. This isn't soccer, coach. This isn't real. The zone's about being in the right place at the right time. Tell me what you need, Shanks. Let's make the environment exactly as you need it to recreate the zone. Uh, okay. Um, add lines? Yes. Uh, add goals? Yes. Stadium? Yes! The whole of Invincible United. <laughs> Victory will be mine! Huh? Um, uh, ours. Mm, carry on. I'll watch from outside. <laughs> <laughs> when Super Strikers face us, they will have to contend with 11 players. 11 players in the zone! <laughs> 24 hours. This is long enough to declare Shakes officially missing. Long as long I'm here. Me too. Feeling bad about being tough on the dude. Shakes can handle that. He can handle fame, too. Something else has happened. What? The guy is my strike partner. I know him well. So what do we do? We go back to where he was last seen. Don't worry, Shakes. Nothing will distract me from tracking you down. Hey, this is much nicer than my room. Luxury fittings. Ooh. Fully automated fanciness. Classy views outside and inside. But the best feature is the super king-size bed fit for a soccer king! <laughs> ah. Sorry, Shakes. I will find you. But I'm just going to have a little... The techno bear, he has sharp claws and long blue hair. Huh? Huh? Yes, Shakes! Yes! Yes! It's no. Ah! Come on! Come on! Honestly, Coach, I'm finding this all a bit weird. 
It's really not how we should be preparing for the Technicali game. Mm -hmm. But I've given you everything you've asked for. Yeah, but it doesn't feel real. I need the energy of a game. I need the madness, the noise, the chaos. I need the fans. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> now this is more like it. It's all up to you, Shakes. Find the zone, and Super League glory will be mine forever! <laughs> but do it soon, because the game is starting. I love the Ron Nevitt suite. Hmm? Huh? Ah! <laughs> A secret trapdoor shoot? <laughs> That man thinks he owns this town. He has a suite here, and he brings all his dirty washing to moi. Hey, I wash sometimes three to four times a day. <laughs> Not you, Four Eyes. That's Ron Nevitt? That's the moof monster, Einstein. It's Tony Vern's suite. The Tony Vern? And I gotta deliver all his laundry to the hub before the game, so I can't stand around all day and yada. You coming or what? Hang on, Shakes. I'm coming to get ya. M-I-A, or rather, M-I-L-A, missing in Los Angeles. With only minutes to go before a key game in their Super League campaign, hopes of finding Super Striker, Star Striker, Shakes are diminishing. Shakes, 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 Shakes! Shakes is somewhere here at the hub. Klaus and Lanky start, and Shakes and El Matador will be back on the field before you can say, uh, full time? Sha! Sure. you better be back way before anyone's saying that. Hey, El Matador. If you're doing some investigation on enemy soil, I suggest a better disguise, man. I never thought I'd be cheering for you, Shakes. But go! 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 This one's for the fans! The zone is located in the Associata Footballata! Hello? No time to enjoy yet another moment of my absolute genius! Coach? Download! Did you get that? Time to get these hoods to the team! Can I get out of here now? Coach? Now every technically player will be able to access the zone at the touch of a button! <laughs> <laughs> Game time, Mufi! Let's get fieldside. Anything you say, you lunatic. Whoa! Well, the show must go on. Excuse me? Despite the tragic circumstances. Coming through! I've been had. Don't worry, Shakes. I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> okay. Now, we fight. Game on, and Super Strikers immediately get the upper hand. Looks like it's going to be another one sided game against the struggling Technicali. <laughs> Super Strikers have got the ball in a great position, but their second choice strike team has still got work to do. And they do it with style. Lanky's got an open goal. Doodly doo. Oh, uh, someone just came out of nowhere. Wow. It's Chuck T. Chipperson. What's gotten into him, Mac? No wonder Tony was so obsessed with the song. This is. And that's one mil to Technicali! Tony Vern's men are showing flashes of brilliance out there! Is this really Technicali? Yes! Yes! Uh, uh, yes! I love these retro video games. <laughs> bloop, bloop, ping, ping. Oop, game over. Oh, well, I lose. Too bad. Back to the match, then. Come on, El Matador. Where are you? 
Stupid bubble, prepare to meet your untimely demise. How? I don't know, but... Huh? Whoa, Mufi! You are the man! <laughs> Get out of jail free. Strike pair. And technically, you found their A game. Things are looking bad for coaches, man. <laughs> you said it, Matt. I've never seen Technicali play this well. Huh? Whatever the zone is, I'm pretty sure John J. Johnson Jr. is in it. Oh! Huh? I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone, Brenda. Super Strikers get completely outplayed by Tete Kali, and now their fans are cheering John J. Johnson's goal. It's not the goal they're cheering, Mac. It's the return of El Matador. With the Tete Kali mascot? El Matador, about time. What's going on here? It's me, Coach. Chase! Uh, Chase, what on earth are you doing in there? Long, long story, but I think I know what Tony is up to. Looks like the Technicali mascot has switched sides. What? Fine, movie. So be it. See if I can. Right. <laughs> Only just on the field. Ole! And El Matador is already making all the difference. Ah! Ah! Huh? Whoa! What was that, Brenda? It's the Technicali goalkeeper. Oh, great work from the goalie! Which one, Brenda? The goalkeeper? This is embarrassing. See? It's not the goalie, it's his cap. If what you say is true, if it's even possible, Tony Vern can activate your level of football in each of his players. Yep, I just have to figure out a way to be technically at my own game. Is this technically's chance to extend their lead? Not like that, Brenda. I don't get it. John J. Johnson was definitely in the zone before, so why not now? And why is Tony playing video games at a time like this? <gasps> uh, coach? Tell him. Tony can only use the zone inducers once per player. The charge needed to activate the Associata Footballata drains all the power from the hoods. So is there like a way we can downgrade Technicali's performance? There is indeed. We'll make Tony's plan run out of juice one player at a time. Only three left. That's all I need to teach that treacherous Mufi a lesson. And, uh... Beat Super Strikers, right? Yeah, yeah, whatever. This has to work. Strange strategy from Super Strikers. It's as if they're asking Technicali to shoot. Yes, now's our chance. Ah, it's like Eagle Eye in Technicali's mind. <laughs> He's running through them like that training cone. Pity they're leading him straight off the pitch. All right, it's working. Yes, but Tony still has one zone activation left, and we're running out of time. Huh. I think I know how to make Tony waste his final zone. Stupid movie. I never liked you anyway. Boy, I'm going to show her. Oh, Mufi, I knew you'd come back to me! <laughs> Super! Strikers! Super! Super! And now the Technicali mascot is cheerleading the Super Strikers fans! <laughs> Looks like that, he is starting to the is having some trouble with his laces. Alright, 
guys, technically are officially in the no-go zone. Let's show them what the real zone looks like. Herba, herba. See this, Brenda? Super Strikers are attacking the Technicali mascot! They're not attacking him, Max! In fact, that isn't Mufi! It's Shanks! He's okay! <laughs> you did it, guys! But now, I really need to get out of this suit! Feeling <laughs> so light, too! So alone! Nice work, buddy. <laughs> nice work, buddy. Hell. <laughs> so I guess the zone remains a secret, eh, Shakes? Sure does. Tony proved you can't control the zone, because it's not somewhere up here. It's in here. So finally, you can get some shut eye in room number ten, Shakes. <laughs> yep. A long overdue mega. Hey, give me that. <gasps> hey. Huh? But that's Tony Vernsweet. Yeah, I know. Give me the move monster and all your smelly old clothes. I'm sleeping on the floor and getting the laundry done. Huh? <laughs> all right, dudes. You ready to rock out? You'll be fine, Block. Me and my board surf much bigger waves without getting a scratch. That board looks like it's been ridden over with a fire truck. All right, all right. Maybe we got a few scratches. But come on, dudes. We're the Super Strikers defense. minutes gone, and what a cracking game it's been. Block, watch the left wing. Great balance and poise from North Shaw. He looks for shakes with the long pass. Oh! Another clean sheet for Super Strikers. How do you guys do it week after week? It's just like dropping into a wave. Give it your all, stay focused, and always keep cool under pressure. Ha! What does that kid know about pressure? Don't worry. We're gonna squeeze the air out of that windbag. Great defense against Nakama. You tamed one of the league's best attacks with ease. But Hydra will give you an even tougher test. Their high-pressure game has crushed some of the Super League's best defenses. Ah, please. Klaus's water wings got more pressure than those guys. Yeah, last time I blew them up, I almost fainted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've seen Hydra sink plenty of great teams. That's right. Pay attention, or we'll be next. Watch how much pressure Hydra put on Dingan. Hydra closes down the space and blocks off all potential passes forcing errors from defenders. Those brothers must do some crazy fitness training to keep that up. Their stamina is very impressive. Nothing our defense can't handle, right, coach? Well, Block is the best tackler in the league. Bravo! Eagle Eye can spot danger a mile away. You have food stuck in your teeth. Er, uh, thanks. Mm -hmm. But North is our key man. His link-up play with the midfield is how we relieve the pressure. Talking about pressure, dudes, check this out. Low pressure system heading right for the floating stadium. That doesn't sound good. Whole stadium could sink in storm. Yeah, sink under the biggest, meanest, gnarliest waves you've ever seen. Whoa! I've been assured the floating stadium has ways of handling even the most severe storm. Ah, yes. Life.
life on the open ocean. The wind in your hair, the salty air in your nostrils. The seagull on your head. Huh? Huh? Ow! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, give it back, you stupid bird! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you got a new fan, El Matador. If he wants a piece of my hair, he has to pay for it like all my other fans. What's a seagull doing in the middle of the ocean, man? Look. I always forget how impressive the floating stadium is. Wow. Uh, north? The stadium's this way. North? Hey, guys, I, I think huh? there's something wrong with North. Maybe he's been hypnotized. Or swapped for a body double? Even worse. Good surf. The mighty roar, reclaiming its majesty to all who dare approach it. The glassy surface, reflecting our insignificance in the universe. This is Tube Heaven, dudes! Huh? Not gonna happen, North. I can't risk my key man getting injured before the game. But, but, but the tubes! Sorry, North. No tubes for you. But how about some cones? Ah! Not cool, <laughs> coach! You guys ready? Dude, we were born ready. Then here we come. <laughs> Great work, North. Thanks, Coach. Play like this in the game, and Hydra will be the ones under pressure. Hmm. Off my way, loser! Ah! North Shaw's looking good. Real good. Bummer. That's gonna mess up our game plan. What are we gonna do, Laquita? Ha <laughs> ha. That's easy. We get him in the water. <sighs> Man, that high-pressure defense killed me. How do Hydra keep it up for 90 minutes? Doesn't matter, man. We have the perfect man to break up their play. Perfect? Break? Dude, stop reminding me what I'm missing. Don't worry, man. There'll be plenty more surf coming our way after the game. That's not all that's coming our way. Hey, hey, check out the Gromit Squad. I hope you losers brought your water wings. Yeah, of course. They are in my bag. Back off, Liquido. Seriously. I see you like to flap your lips. But I guess you get lots of practice flapping around the white water, you squid-faced ho-dad. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. That's quite a perler. Coming from a guy who does so much purling. <laughs> You guys understand a word they're saying? Nein, but it sounds very exciting. Why don't you step into my office for a little board meeting? You're on! North Shaw! Huh? You promised coach you'd stay out of the water. Yeah, why don't you be a good little boy and listen to your coach? Whatever, dude. <laughs> now we wait. Don't worry about that guy, North. Yeah, he is the one who is a kooky squid face. Or, or was that a squiddy cook face? Yeah, North, you are a lucky charm. Look, lucky airlock number eight. We need you calm and focused for the game. Relax now, surf later. <sighs> but surfing is how I relax. Hey, do you guys know where? Shh, watch. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, do you think I will catch something? <laughs> Something's already caught you, brother. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you dirty trouser thief! Come back here, or I'll uh, have you arrested! <laughs> guys, there's something I really need to... Huh? Wow, the police here are very quick. This is a high swell warning. Make sure everyone is accounted for and proceed to the nearest airlock. Airlock? Sounds serious. Does this mean they're going to call off the game? No, this is apparently standard operating procedure. Let's make sure everyone is here. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I haven't seen North Shaw all morning. Don't worry, man. I'm sure North is already inside, taking it easy. Gotcha. Now to get ya. Hurry up. We don't have much time. Woo -hoo -hoo! 
At. When I get my hands on Laquito, I'm gonna... Oh no! The game! I gotta get back to the... Stadium? Whoa! 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 Somehow, whoa just doesn't quite cut it. We've been on some crazy adventures, but this takes things to a whole new level. Yeah, below sea level. They do say the bottom of the ocean is the calmest place in a storm. Until the game starts, anyway. Uh, speaking of the game, has anyone found North? A burger block! We found this in North's room. W wait you guys don't think that... I totally suck! Everyone was depending on me and I bailed on them? Ugh! Uh? You must be pretty bummed too. I bet your house is down there. Uh? I guess that's why you wanted to live on my noggin. Uh? You're totally right. I, I can't give up so easily. It is pretty far down. You think I can make it? Uh! Thanks, dude! You're the best! You know what? Why don't you crash on my board till I come back? If I come back. Guys, I've done everything I can. The stadium is locked down for the duration of the game. Oh no! What? Lagazar! Don't even say that, brother! If anyone can handle the ocean alone, it's North Shaw. But our whole game plan is based around him. Grizz, you feeling better? 100%, coach! Good. You're in the starting lineup. <laughs> it's Hydra versus Super Strikers live from the floating. uh. Sinking Stadium. Yeah, I've heard of wet conditions, Brenda, but this is just ridiculous. Talking about ridiculous, for some reason coaches put Grizz in the heart of the Super Strikers defense instead of North. I hear you got a man overboard. Oh yeah? And what would you know about that? Hey, I tried to warn him that the surf is for pros only. Gear? But why? Whoa! An underwater soccer pitch? <laughs> this is what I call high pressure soccer. This is like playing in slow mo. Gnarly dudes! <laughs> Too cool, but super tiring. This must be how Hydra work on their stamina. Wait a second. Hydra, the game! I gotta let them know I'm out here! Super Strikers haven't gotten out of their own half yet. Ah! 
What a shot! And an equally good save from Big Bo. But Super Striker's reserve defender seems totally out of his depth here. Now more than ever, Super Striker's fans must be wondering where North Shaw is. So am I, Brenda. So am I. Oh, dudes! Not looking good! Huh? <laughs> Super Strikers are going south without North. They're squeezing us like... like... <gasps> a giant octopus! Super Strikers are totally at sea without North Shaw's link-up play. You said it, Mac. Without that bridge between defense and attack, they're just treading water. <laughs> oh my! The Hydra Captain makes it too! Unbelievable skill! Uh, 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 dude! Huh? In case of giant octopus, push red button! <laughs> Super Strikers aren't treading water anymore. They're going down. Come on, Grizz, you're fine. Oh, look, Norshaw's being chased by a giant octopus. Okay, maybe you're not fine. Kablar Brother! He's alive. But not for long. We gotta do something. All right, they've seen me. And all it took was a giant octopus and a futuristic underwater jetpack. Hey, that gives me an idea. Hey, it's just like Twisting Tiger's head. Lucky number eight. Lucky airlock number eight. I'll be right behind you guys. There seems to be some kind of problem on the Super Striker's bench. Can someone tell me how all my first choice defenders just disappeared into thin air? Not air, dudes! Water! Oh, John. Hey, dudes! North! I'm so happy to see you. I'm so tired of being seasick. <laughs> okay. It's cool, Grizz. It's cool. Huh? How did he get back in here? Doesn't matter. It's too near. There's nothing he can do. The second half is well underway, and Super Striker's defense is back to full strength. But why have they only brought out North Shaw now? Who knows why these coaches do the things they do, Brenda? With the men in red trailing 2 0, North's got his work cut out for him. Nice of you to drop in, North. I hope your football's better than your surfing. Liquido? Huh? You intentionally derailed me so I'd miss the game! Huh. That was an innocent mistake. That's for taking my wave. And this is for shit. and North Shaw has already made his mark. Never mind the ocean. Those moves of his are from outer space. Two guys. 
Don't let your guard down just yet. That gives me an idea, Captain. If I can borrow a plan from the local wildlife, we're going to steal Hydra's pants? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Not the seagull, the octopus. You dudes ready to get out there and put the pressure on Hydra? Yeah! yeah. yeah. One, two, three, Super, Super Strikers! Strikers. Well, I think it's safe to say Super Strikers are settling for a draw. I've never seen Coach's men play so defensively. I guess the pressure finally got to them. Ha! Chickens. Everyone, push forward! Time to send you posers packing! Hydra are sending more and more players forward, but Super Strikers are just sitting there! All right, dudes! Surprise octopus attack! Super Strikers have caught Hydra totally by surprise! Irritating Seagull Pass! Ha Two arms just ain't gonna cut it, dude! Cause I just been up against eight! Well, North, you really left your mark on Hydra. On the pitch and on their stadium. <laughs> I'm just glad my feathered bro got a new crib. So the seagull was on our side all along? What a noble, majestic <coughs> animal I am! <coughs> Why, you beast! When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna bake you in a pie! <laughs> Surf's up, dudes!